so excited to share another video with you. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I gave up caffeine. Um, I stopped drinking coffee about a month and a half ago now um, and after I stopped giving up coffee I used some um, other caffeine supplements um, and now I've pretty much completely given up caffeine so I wanted to share my journey with you on how I got there and the changes that I've noticed and um, yeah I hope you enjoy watching. Okay so to take it right back um, when I was training for the Olympics I was drinking four cups of coffee a day. Generally they were um, like espressos or something like really quick and to the point. I just needed caffeine at that time because I was so run down, like my body was always exhausted, I had adrenal fatigue, um, we were training seven hours a day, I was getting up at 4.30, it was just a lot and I guess the regime and routine as an Olympian is so taxing on your body um, and I just found I needed coffee to get me like not even get me just to keep me moving um so i would get up and go training at um 4 30 5 30 and um get to the i wouldn't have a coffee before training in the morning but i would have one right after training at around eight because then i would go straight from the pool to gym so on that on that journey i would have a coffee and often i would have a double espresso so like not even for the taste just like complete for the punch um and then i would after physio i would go sorry go gym and then physio and then i would come home and then i would have another double shot coffee before training in the afternoon um so i was kind of averaging around four coffees a day keeping in mind that i only did this on days that we did doubles so i only did this on days that we trained both in the morning and the afternoon if we had a morning off or if we had an afternoon practice off i would only take it before the practice session so it wasn't like i was just drinking it to drink it it was it was kind of like something i just did for my training um and we also then at race time would take caffeine supplements um, because there was quite a few studies around like how if you take it at the right time um, it can really lift your performance naturally. Um, I kind of played around with this a little bit at trial meets and stuff but honestly it just affected my stomachs and I feel like because I was already so nervous it really affected my um, like reflux and like getting so nervous it was just like I couldn't handle anything other than the natural form of having a coffee um, I guess it's not even really that natural but that's what I could only manage okay so after I finished swimming I still took coffee and I was still probably having it um, like every day um, just generally maybe two a day um, so it's kind of cutting back from four to two um, and I just found like I did a lot of research and I was noticing like obviously how bad it is for dehydration and you know um, coffee is very acidic so you want to try and have things that are more alkaline and I was really took like um, a really big passion into like nutrition and, and what's good for fueling my body naturally and I decided to try and stop having coffee I pretty much went cold turkey around this time of about 2013 and it was kind of just a really hard year for me in general like having finished swimming and moved interstate and there was just like a lot going on I was trying to figure myself out and I feel like it was probably the wrong time to make decisions like that um, just in terms of how I managed it because it didn't last very long I um, started drinking coffee again really like within a few months and I just felt during that time I just felt so crap the whole time I felt like I wasn't I didn't have any energy um, so I kind of like went on for another few years and then I really made a decision in 2014 2015 that I was going to look for another supplement and I love how coincidences happen like that I feel like the universe always like guides you towards the answers you need and I went to the farmers markets where I bought all my produce in Sydney organic produce and I came across this lady that was selling um, this coffee anyway um, I kind of asked her a few questions around it and it's cool I'll show you so it's called um, this is King of Coffee, which was the one that I used to drink, and it's by Organic Gold. And I love this product. I have been drinking it for around um, kind of two years. And so Organic Gold, Organic Gold Coffee has um, 
around about a, a quarter or a fifth of the amount of caffeine that a normal cup of coffee has. So, but you still get the natural lift because it's infused with this herb called Ganoderma, which I love. Um, so it's like a natural stimulant and I found this to be a really great product whilst I was um, in transition. I didn't notice any like, um, like depletion in my energy or any like of that hangover period from like going from normal coffee to the organo gold coffee so i felt like it was really good for me i loved it and then i was happy with that and i was loving it i was having like one or two or even sometimes three of these a day but even having three of these coffees is like equivalent to almost like just under a half of a normal coffee so it was still like fine but i was noticing it was still having like this effect on my body and i was kind of always feeling a bit dehydrated so i just kind of one day decided like you know what like i think i'm done <laughs> with the coffee so after i stopped drinking the organo gold coffee i had like a period of about two weeks um where i was supplementing just one a day i was having a matcha so i was having a matcha green tea um this is essentially green tea powder um but a higher concentrate so um I really like this one. I've been using it um, for like a little while and I would sometimes have a matcha instead of a coffee. But I did this for around about um, two weeks and I found like it was a good little transitional thing. Granted, when I stopped having coffee, I feel like it could have been psychological, but I had this like downer for about three days and it was only really three days. I just felt really tired more than anything. I just didn't have any energy. Um, and I thankfully did that over like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I just kind of took the time to like rest. And I feel like that happens sometimes when you detox from something because you've been almost so addicted to it. Your body finally can like rebalance itself out. And whilst it's rebalancing, I find, you know, you could have like a little bit of that influx in like lower emotions or sadness or tiredness or whatever that is for you. Um, I definitely felt that for about three days and then I kind of just came out of it and I've been feeling wonderful ever since. So now I don't drink any normal coffee, any um, like lower caffeine supplements. I don't drink matcha tea anymore. Um, I'll still have like one green tea in the morning um, and I really like that. I think green tea has amazing antioxidants. I get like just sort of like a natural lift. Although I find I'm not addicted to it, so I don't need to have it. It's not like, you know, you know how some people wake up and they're like, I need my coffee. Like, I don't feel that way. I kind of enjoy to have a green tea if it's there, but if not, kind of like, oh well. Um, so I feel really good about this and um, I've really been enjoying the past uh, month and a half. My sister actually stopped giving... Um, stopped having caffeine around about the same time I did and um, we both just really found it to be like completely fine. I had none of the um, effects that I had last time I tried to give it up around two or three years ago. Um, I've just been really happy, really abundant in my energy. I've been feeling like I don't have a period in the day where I kind of lull out at all, which I used to get when I was drinking caffeine. Um, I just feel really a lot more stable, I have lots of energy, I feel really vibrant and I think more than anything I just feel more hydrated in my body. Um, it's weird because someone gave me this really interesting stat and they say, which I'm sure you guys already know, that um, you know, coffee's obviously so dehydrating and for one cup of coffee you're meant to have around like three glasses of water to rehydrate yourself. Well, that's all really great, but then when they compared it to the acidity that coffee has on your body, you actually need around 10 glasses of water just to bring yourself back into balance on the acidic alkaline um, scale because coffee, coffee sits essentially with alcohol like at the very end and sugar at the very end of the acidic um, timeline and so to bring yourself back into neutral it takes really around like 11 glasses of water and I was just like whoa <laughs> like 11 glasses plus what you would meant to have or or what you would generally have just as a hydrating day um I kind of have around three glasses of three glasses <laughs> please I have around three liters of water a day um currently like I'm still drinking my smoothie from lunch and this is like a one liter jar 
Um, so I usually fill this up with water and kind of just sip it all day in the office. Um, but yeah, I was like, this is insane and I can't put my body through this anymore. So I wanted to show you guys how I make now what I would have instead of coffee. So now I have um, dandelion. And dandelion is essentially just dandelion. <laughs> and it's, um, this is one that it's like an instant. You can just, um, it's like, I feel like people get the wrong idea about instant. <laughs> instant meaning you just can add water. Um, it's just essentially like ground down dandelion root and um, it's amazing for you dandelion and it almost tastes like coffee but it's not like you can't go in thinking like oh I'm having a coffee because it's not um, I feel like then you'd be disappointed but I really like this one in particular I really like um, it's it's just really great uh, a nice um, alternative to having a coffee or if you feel like you want something like warm and like with milk and especially now that it's winter I feel like they're really nice and my little brother who's 13 and kind of like he's healthy but he's not like you know like super healthy um, I bought this over the other night and we made dandelion tea together for like our like post dinner like dessert thing and he loved it he was like where can I get some of this so I love being able to through my journey of I guess healthy eating be able to inspire the people around me to start making like maybe some healthier choices or just to open their eyes to other alternatives. And so I'm really glad that I can, I guess, share this content with you guys and um, hopefully through what I do and what I can share with you, it just inspires or open your eyes to other options. So. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to do these videos and I hope you guys have, ah, I just dropped the dandelion like totally everywhere. Um, but I hope you guys have an awesome afternoon and I'm sure we'll talk soon.